Are you tired of hearing the word atmospheric rivers? Yep. Well, as we've told you, there are a long narrow of bands of moisture from the tropics. CBS 13's Ben Tracy tells us more about this phenomenon and whether it's enough to bust California's devastating drought. It's weather whiplash in the West, from devastating drought to days of deluge. A parade of atmospheric rivers is barreling on shore. This conveyor belt of moisture, also called the Pineapple Express, can carry up to 15 times the volume of the Mississippi River in each storm system. This does feel like we're on the express train part of this. We are on the express train for sure. It's been storm after storm, but they're very important. The main source for moisture for the, for the western part of the U.S., especially the coastal states. Scientists say climate change is making extremes more extreme. Droughts are drier, and these sorts of winter storms are wetter because a warmer atmosphere holds more moisture. So when it rains, it pours. That's refilling California's critically low reservoirs and piling up snowpack in the Sierra, which is now more than 200% of normal. Our snowpack is actually off to one of its best start in the past 40 years. But in Los Angeles, which imports more than half its water supply from Northern California and the drought ravaged Colorado River, all this rain is a torrent of wasted opportunity. So none of this water is going to do us any good here. Very, very little of it. Most of the area's stormwater is funneled into the concrete lined LA River and flushed into the ocean. An effort to prevent flooding LA's prized possession, real estate. We capture about 20% of our storm water. Between the storm last week and the storm that's happening now, I bet we're going to see 20, 25, 30 billion gallons of water just going out the LA River into the ocean. LA County is now spending nearly $300 million a year to capture more storm water, including so called spreading grounds where runoff can seep into the soil, helpful during the prolonged drought. Is this a drought buster? Is this a drought denter? Do we have any idea? We are getting exactly what we need to bust the drought, but we still have two thirds of the wet season to come, and we could get very little precipitation. You know, it's very unpredictable. Unpredictability is now the one thing we can count on.